Hi, I'm Chelsea Castro, lawyer turned psychotherapist on a mission to help you work, live, and feel better. Let's dive right in. Procrastination, we all do it, how do we overcome it? The thing is, we are wired for procrastination. Procrastination is actually a coping mechanism that your brain uses to avoid something uncomfortable. You see, our brain's top priority is survival but our brains haven't changed since survival meant not becoming some predator's lunch. So let's break it down real quick. Something makes me feel comfortable. My brain says, oh, discomfort means I need to act to survive. And the easiest way to not get eaten is to get away. So let's avoid what's making us uncomfortable. And boom, you know it. You find a way to avoid that uncomfortable task and procrastination. There you go. There are two ways to overcome procrastination. One, by working on overcoming the fear or discomfort we're avoiding through procrastination. And two, by setting up our environments so that it is harder to avoid the discomfort and easier to work through it. The best way to deal with procrastination is by applying both approaches. But for today, we're just focusing on the second approach, your environment. One way to do that is by hacking your to-do list. Yes, that dreaded to-do list that we all have a love-hate relationship with, you need to break up with your to-do list. Yes, you need to break up with your to-do list and start working from a must-do list. Now, don't worry, I'm not asking you to do totally away with your to-do list. I'm just asking that you work directly from a must-do list instead. And yes, this means that you should also not be using your inbox as a to-do list. So here's what you do. Review that super long to-do list at the end of your workday and pick the three most important tasks that need to get done. For most of us, that will mean the tasks with the soonest deadlines, but for some of us, that might mean the tasks that will take us the longest to accomplish. These are often the really hard ones we don't want to do and prefer to avoid. For most of us, this will require that we first break down the tasks on our to-do list into much smaller, very specific tasks. For example, let's say we're in school and we have to write an English paper. We might have written down, write English paper. I want to challenge you to break that down into more specific tasks. For the English paper, it might be identify topic, write thesis, identify potential resources, outline paper, research section one, section two, section three, write section one, write section two, write section three, edit. You see where I'm going with this. Conventional wisdom tells us that breaking down a task into smaller parts makes it easier for your brain to accept that each individual task is manageable. But more importantly, science has shown us that isolating specific tasks on a must-do list instead of letting them get lost in an enormous to-do list makes us much more likely to get those specific tasks done. Okay, so we identified the three most important items on your to-do list. You broke them down into much smaller specific tasks. Now, you need to pick the three most important ones on that list, the most need to get done tasks, and transfer those to your must do list for tomorrow. When you start the work day, you already know what really needs to get done and you can start right away. No analysis paralysis. I'll warn you that this is actually much easier said than done. Your brain is used to working a certain way and it struggles with change. You will be tempted to let your email be your to do list. Yes, there occasionally may be an emergency in your inbox that needs to be dealt with right away and requires you to reconstruct that must-do list, but that is not usually the default. Most days, your email will not have emergencies first thing in the morning. This is hard, but research has shown that it works, so why not give it a try? I recommend giving yourself at least one week of trying it on a daily basis before you give up you owe it to yourself. So let's review. At the end of your workday, break down the three most important items on your to-do list into very specific short tasks. Put the three most important ones on your must-do list and use that must-do list the next day. Focus your next day on getting those three tasks on your must-do list done. That's it. 
If you happen to finish the three tasks on your to-do list before your day is over, just start the process over again and do it yet again at the end of your day in preparation for the next morning. There you go. Until next time, take care.